Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something super cool for software developers and why not IT professionals depending on the situation and this is how to automate MSI package creation or any type of package actually by using PowerShell and advanced installer. So if you're ready to save some time and streamline your packaging process stick around because I'll walk you through a small demo using PowerShell to automate this. Great, so let's get started. The first step in automating the package creation process with advanced installer is to create a new com object in PowerShell. So this will let us interact with advanced installer's functionality programmatically. So inside a PowerShell window, you can use PowerShell eyes, you can use whatever you want. Uh, let's type the following thing. So let's create a new com object. So we will have advanced installer. This will be a new object, com object, and advanced installer. Cool. Next, uh, we want to create a project instance. And for this one, we will do something like this. We'll have a project, right? This will be our main variable for the project. And this will use advanced installer. And here we will use create project s and let's define the architect edition here cool hit enter now with the project instance created we can start configuring the package properties like product name publisher and version right so now in our main variable here in our project we can do the same so we can have project dot product details dot name this will be let's say my product all uh, in the product details i also want to change the publisher to be you know, my publisher publisher all and don't forget about the version and let's say this is 101 cool uh so just to verify that the product details are correctly set we simply output the product details like this cool so we have the name of the product my product the version is correct 101 and the publisher is correct of course you can further on configure the readme the in readme dialog algorithm and so forth and so on great now let's add content from a folder so let's say i have uh this application developed here and let's go to the bin uh debug blah blah and i have these files here right so i want to add this folder inside my project um and that's quite easy all we need to do is just again with the project with no not profile sorry we'll have project dot files component add folder folder contents and here in our main app directory we will add this guy here which i forget to use double quotes no worries do it like this good close the parentheses enter and now all the files are successfully added um, if you want to check what files you have in your project just hit uh, project.files component files component dot files and this will show you exactly what it was shown previously when the files were added cool but let's say i have some unnecessary files in my project like i don't know in this case like cs files i just put them here and i want to delete them uh so we don't want them in our final msi package so let's delete them for the project instance using powershell filtering capabilities um so for this, I'm going to copy paste a line of code. Give me a second. Good. And now this is going through all the files in the project and we will get all the uh, uh, files we have, which have the extension .cs and for each file we deleted. Cool. We hit enter and let's check again if the files are still there. No, the CS files are completely gone. Cool. Let's also create a shortcut for our application executable in the start menu. So actually we need to find the executable file in the project. So then let's first create a variable called I don't know, my exe file. 
this will be under project files component find file by path and here i know it's in my app there and i think it was my application.exe cool let's also quote good so this will be the main variable so now let's create the shortcut to this executable in the shortcuts folder so for this we are going to use the project.shortcuts component dot create file shortcut and here we will have our project dot predefined folders and here we have our shortcut folder this is the predefined shortcut folder and here we will use the variable which we previously created for the executable and there you go now the shortcut is created next we can add more resources uh like images configurations or other data for example i'm not sure but let, let's say we can also add the object folder just for example so again we will go with project files component um add folder content there we go and here in our app directory we will also create i don't know an obj uh, obj folder and let's copy paste our folder here and there you go so now that we configured our project more or less how we wanted to it's time to save it to our local drive and we can save it as an aip project by using this command right so again we'll go with project save as and here usually i save my projects in the documents folder so let's say i want to save it uh sorry totally forgot to do this uh save as and here we need the actual path um i know my powershell project.aip close there you go the project was saved successfully and then if we want we can build it so we can use project build and there you go our project has been built so if we go into this one we will need to have a my powershell project setup files call so here is the aip and here is our msi we can actually open it with advanced installer ah cool there it is and exactly as we did it everything is here there you go application shortcut folder has the application and that's perfect that's actually perfect uh furthermore um i know this might be it might seem a little bit hard but powershell eyes uh can help you developing such sort of scripts because you have autocomplete so for example uh let's take it a little bit from the top so let's say we we do this thing all over again so let's create the object and let's create the project and afterwards you will understand what i'm trying to say so for example if you want to i don't know uh, manage the product details all you need to do is just use project sorry project uh dot and here you see all the options and here i want product details where is product details there we go dot and here we can change the license agreement name product or publisher blah 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 and in this case we will use name which will equal i don't know my product but you get the general idea um powershell eyes does offer you autocomplete options which might make your job on creating that specific powershell script much easier but overall there you have it um you have just automated the creation of an msi package using powershell and advanced installer and this is a huge time saver especially when you're working on large scale deployments or you need to build multiple versions of a product if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more tutorials like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video